Sometimes in order to win, you must be separated from the people you know. Because the people that you grew up around, they're going through the same generational curses as you once did. And in order for that generational curse to be broken, there's an isolation period that must happen that the Heavenly Father will take you through. And it's to expose you to new environments. See, a lot of times people don't try to reach higher because they are a product of their environment. They only know how to do the things they grew up around. But when the Heavenly Father separates you from your environment and puts you in an unknown territory, that's when you begin to accumulate new skill sets. You start to learn new things. And it's in that unfamiliar territory that the Heavenly Father renews your mind. The only way we can break generational curses is to be separated from those you grew up around. Because if everybody doing the same thing, how can something different happen? How can you stand out? See, we learn to trust the Heavenly Father in the wilderness. That's where he teach us it. That's where he show us how to move and how not to move. And the enemy will test you as you proceed to journey down this path. But there is a reward for those who remain faithful in adversity. When the enemy is attacking you, just keep your focus on Lord Jesus. Because he can't do no more than what the Heavenly Father allows. But adversity is good for us. Because that teaches us how to stand firm on our faith when we don't waver when the pressure starts to come. God is going to help you. He's going to help you get through these storms. Sometimes life becomes challenging, especially when we have to do something we're not familiar with. But it's okay. I never seen someone that trust the Heavenly Father and fail. The Heavenly Father won't allow that to happen as long as you trust him. But I do want to say this. The enemy will try to feed off your self-doubt. And he will try to amplify those moments of you feeling like you're failing in order to make you fearful from taking that next step. See, the reason why he does this is because he wants you to sabotage what the Heavenly Father is doing in your life. He wants you to reach for less than what the Heavenly Father has to give you. And he would do this with people that you don't know, friends and family. Because the enemy wants to try to talk you out of a blessing. He don't want you to experience a breakthrough because that testimony alone can also help people that's around you. We can't do nothing different If we never seen it being done. So that's why the Heavenly Father chose you. He separated you from the people you know. In order to show them something new. That's why Lord Jesus is the only way to freedom. He's the example that we live by. And he's the one who's showing us how to do something new. Because a lot of people get stuck in this cycle of repeating what the last generation did. Yeah, it might look new, but it's really the same thing. Because 
the enemy wants you to believe you can't reach higher because no one in your family ever did. You can't reach higher because no one in your environment never did. So you start to develop this stuck mentality and you don't live outside of your hood or the places that you typically hang out at. And then the moment you do try to live outside your hood or where you grew up at, you bring that mentality with you and other places that you might go. Because guess what? It has similarities of where you come from. So that's why the Heavenly Father will separate you and put you in isolation in an unfamiliar territory. Because he's using you to break generational curses. He's using you for his will to show people there's a better way. We don't got to continue to repeat our family history. We don't got to continue to think like the environment we grew up in. We have a way of escape. And it's through Lord Jesus. He showed us something new. He showed us that the things that people will say that's impossible are possible. If we believe on him and trust the heavenly father. Sometimes. When you're getting ready to do something new, that's monumental. That's going to make a difference. Not just in your life, but others too. When you're getting ready to do something magnificent and bring glory to the Heavenly Father's name, people will tell you a whole bunch of different reasons of why it won't work. Because they never seen it being done before. So that's why you got to be the first to show them it's possible. Nothing is impossible for the Heavenly Father. He can do all things according to his will. But the enemy will use the doubt of others to try to get you to doubt in the Heavenly Father. Because he see what this can become. Sometimes the Heavenly Father got to remove everybody out of your life to build a fresh foundation of faith. So when it's time to bring glory to the Heavenly Father, when those storms come, when that self-doubt tries to seep in because of people, you got a fresh foundation of faith. And this foundation won't be easily wiped away. All of this is developed in the isolation when God bring you to the wilderness. And when I say self-doubt, in this particular case, I'm talking about when other people doubt you. Because sometimes that doubt comes from people that holds a strong place in your heart. So when they start to talk against it, of whatever the Heavenly Father has you doing. It could put you in a bad space in your mind. But you got to keep your focus on Lord Jesus. Through him, we break generational curses. We're not repeating our family history. We're building something new. So continue to build. And continue to trust and have faith in Lord Jesus that this foundation is something that can last for generations to come. I pray this bless you in Jesus name. Amen.